guys this is the Q8 e-tron that all of you have dropped your bookings I know a lot of people has booked this car I personally I already have a few friends who booked it so this is the Audi Q8 e-tron now when you see the car in person it is not of the overall dimensions of the Q8 but it's very close to it all right the presence of this car the aura of this car looks like something like a lowered Q7 if I may if I may or a lowered Q8 right it is not as tall as big but the interior room is matching that of the Q8 in every sense okay so you can see that's a very nice take on the new grill LED thing that we're seeing in cars now it actually lights up from above and reflects down with the gloss black material right and of course these are EVs there are no intakes right so the side intakes are used to channel air through the wheel well to pull out air from there and of course there are some ancillaries there because at the end of the day an EV still needs cooling right? the wheels are huge so the the huge wheels right actually sort of hide the size of the car these are 22 inches yeah so you can imagine how gigantic the wheel well is all right yeah so the overall cars dimension and all that is actually very near to the Q8 but in person it doesn't appear as big as the Q8 but it is every bit as long all right it's certainly a much larger car than your Q5 or GLC or X3 or even the Lexus RX all right this is not small okay 22 inches of wheels these are Hankook uh, Ventus Evo all right but from video from pictures you will never be able to tell the size of it because it is just proportion to hide the size of the car right but the car is actually big yeah the car is big it is a big car for 380,000 right this is a big 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 bargain let me tell you guys it's way larger than your X3 or XC60 or GLC and the likes right? it's way larger So that's the boot space yeah boot space matches up to uh, the Q8 or a Bentega or a DBX in every sense all right and uh, wow I cannot imagine man this car at 380,000 right it's gonna be a huge bargain so there's a false floor and then you have you have space for more hidden storage there's a lever to lower the seats to automatically let the seats hold down and of course there are some nets over there for miscellaneous storage the roof mechanism uses a powered strut instead of the you know my some a lot of audis they don't use power strut they use powered hinge okay so these are the roof rails and then you can see the window line actually tapers down over here gloss black inside the of course these are specs all right so the official name of this car is the audi q8 e-tron quattro right, very unique center console we're gonna go have a look later and this is perfect family size car i think when this car arrives malaysia right is it's gonna hit the market like like nothing has hit it before all right first of all of course everybody uh, saw the IX yeah you can see this is about the IX size but I have, I have this hunch that it may be slightly okay it's almost the same the thing about the QA Detroit is that it looks more conventional in a way but also a lot more handsome in a way right this is a nice cabin it's not as, as crazy or as uh, 
different as that of the iX so you can see that there's this floating console over here sort of floating and then there it houses the aircon touchscreen controls and then up there would be the infotainment touchscreen controls these are the inlays very nice material Audi what do you expect right very large glove box and then the seats of course it depends on what spec it was spec in okay these are the door bins Audi door bins always very practical all right up here let me show you how the gear lever works you hold it here this one step action so a lot of people has been trying to design different gear levers and I really don't like the small little ones you know this is nice leather wrap here you can rest your palms your palms can control these and then you can just toggle it very nice steering wheels is also pretty lovely and here you get a very deep console inside here where there's a wireless charger here where you can slot your phone and it charges there and then here you have the cup holders that can be retracted pretty nice design you can retract them you can hold stuff and then you get the two USB-C ports you can also slide and cover it and put stuff pretty practical interior and like all Audis yes I expect that from Audis very nice all right these are standard lovely let's head towards the rear you can see USB-C ports over there touchscreen controls my size 11 and a half feet 11 and a half feet and uh, aircon vents on the B pillar aircon vents here and uh, I am 5 foot 11 I am 5 foot 11. I have a palm of headroom. These are the cup holders. Very nice mechanism. Open up, you get storage. I'm to close it. What is this? Oh, okay. To open and close, let me show you. Press this. Press this again to close it. First time I'm seeing this mechanism. Ambient lighting is on the doors, as you can see. Very nice. I hope the one that comes to Malaysia has a panoramic roof. And this one, you get blinds at the back here. Okay, let's come to the rear. So, yep. Yeah. Very good looking car, very good size. Uh, oh, this will be a hit, man. The Q8 e-tron, when it arrives, it will be a hit. Compared to the standard SUV, it is actually lower. But then you get good ride height, very good ride height. So you can, you can cross any terrains uh, with this ride height. So pretty, pretty, pretty good. Right, the charging ports are on the side. So there will be two power variants of the Q8 e-tron. Standard, very standard Audi design to the front. And then of course you get all the auxiliaries, the 48 volt system. And uh, <laughs> what does it say? Why you all go up and then don't dare to touch it? <laughs> all right, so it's not exactly designed to have an empty front for you to load everything in okay look at the rear so the rear has a which has now become the standard design feature of ele electric cars right just one single light running across one thing very interesting I want to look at the logo very new that logo is different yeah the logo is different you have the black uh, 
lines over there and then you have white color in the in middle and this color is sort of like a pastel green gray kind of color so yeah very good size all right i would say it is like the size of a a6 i would say yeah or a a6 wagon so yeah so it looks like a taller rs6 yeah so that makes it the qad e tron yeah i love the booth booth ambassadors uh, outfit very nice very modern <coughs> right so in terms of design both sides you have the, the charging ports can i press this look at that do i want to you want me to show you again yep that's audi for you elegant so this side you have the standard charger and then you have the DC together let's look at the other side I'm gonna press that 10,000 times a day this one is oh this is just a mop so I believe they created it so that I don't know different markets or different uh, get, maybe some you get dual ports both sides and then there's a little storage up front okay yeah nice all right so this is the audi q8 e-tron very nice very nice car and i think this will sell really well in our market especially at the current price that it has been introduced at this price this thing will move so go put in your orders right i can't see i can't see why why anybody shouldn't buy this i just cannot because judging from the size for what it is and the price that audi is asking for there's no reason to to not go ahead and just put down 38,000 10 percent down payment and then uh it's affordable it is very affordable for what it is now it doesn't it it doesn't come off as a very super futuristic ev when people see this car on the road right they wouldn't be able to immediately relate it to an ev as opposed to those super futuristic cars like tesla hyundai ioniq 5 or kia ev6 right but as a package as what it offers inside out the roominess this is yeah yeah so the QA e-tron is here in singapore house of progress it will only arrive the singapore market in the second half of the year and i believe malaysia as well and singaporeans sorry you all can only envy us because for Malaysia is below 400,000 ringgit. <laughs> it starts from below 400,000 ringgit. All right. So guys, when you buy the Q8 e-tron in Malaysia, my recommendation is to go for the 50, which is the lower powered, lower range one. Go for the 50 and uh, make sure it has panoramic roof. You need panoramic roof on this car. It will feel a lot better because it's a family car. Now, the wheels uh, they start from 19, 20, 21, you know, and you have that 22 inch. But uh, for the wheels, go for the 20 inches, all right? 20 inches, you buy some uh, Michelin PS4 SUV tires or Michelin Latitude. Those are uh, really great SUV tires. Uh, pick a high profile. Of course, the car will have its standard tires, all right? So you can just use the standard tires. You look at how gigantic the wheel well is. These are 22 inch wheels and yet with high profile tires. Those are not low profile tires. I mean, look at them, right? So I believe uh, if you spec the 20 inches, it will be two inches smaller and then pick those tires with a thicker profile and you have a wonderful ride. And uh, I have asked Audi Malaysia, the car, even at this price, it will have uh, air suspension. 
right? So you can ride up and down. But as you guys know, I need to let you all know this first. Air suspension's benefit is you can adjust the ride height of the car. That's the first benefit. The second thing with air suspension is when you are driving on the highway, they feel exceptionally comfortable, super comfortable because they are able to slow down the reaction of the car from the road. Let's say the road is, is like this, like this, but your air suspension can slow down the motion of the car for you. So that is really wonderful. But let me tell you this first, be prepared. Even though it's covered under warranty, let me tell you first, air suspension always have their inherent problems. Because a simple thing like a strut with oil inside and springs, right, will soft the would have would have been able to serve the 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 functionality of you know rebounding, absorbing and all that. But air suspension has a valve on each side, has a pipe on each side that a pressurized pipe that links to the back in the high pressure reservoir and the high pressure reservoir also have valves that goes through a controller unit and then uh, the high pressure reservoir is connected to a pump right with sensors and control units as well so the pump would decide when to pump air into the reservoir the reservoir would react according to uh, each corner you know when to release you know basically it's a very complicated process just to solve a few things all right so you cannot blame audi or blame bmw or blame mercedes-benz or whatsoever or porsche or who not because air suspension was that is the inherent design of air suspension and they are that uh complicated of a system all right so enjoy your air suspension and if it's under warranty they will fix it for you all right just just accept that okay cheers yeah i really really like this car because of its size uh let me explain something certain cars right let's talk about the size like an xc90 or a range rover or a bmw x7 when you when you are in that kind of size, it's of course very comfortable, very big. But for, let's say, a lady driver, you know, when you are seated in, in a car of that size, right, it becomes a bit like, uh, there's more utilitarian uh, aspect to it. You don't feel like it's your own personal luxury in a way. I'll give an example of what is a personal luxury size car a Porsche Macan why so many people likes it because it's smaller it's stylish you know you drive it to go about places it's your own personal very private luxury space okay but cars of the size of Porsche Macan is also not as practical as the bigger cars right uh, the rear seats are cramped the boot is small and all that but this one hits just the right spot I may say this car right in terms of size it looks like the SUV version it looks like the SUV version of an A6 Avant all right so it's just right about at the edge where you still feel that it's your own personal luxury space but it's also very spacious for your family and all that but it's not too big too unwieldy yeah so this is the Q8 e-tron all right so I'm buying advice Cheers.